And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Minnesota Twins going up against the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now and towing the slab, Wang. Well, this guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates and the guys that are playing behind him just seem to take it to another level. You know, he's the type of guy who's not having a good day to try to save that bullpen for the game and the next game. He'll go out there and wear it. So in this one, if he can keep his pitch count down early, he has the ability to work deep into this ballgame. Okay, all set to go. Here's Byron Buxton. The pitch. That one misses. And this one is off and running. And the right hander deals. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it to first. One out in the top of the first. That the short Carlos Correa. Now Correa up to hit. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. First pitch, just misses. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. No score just getting started, top of the first. The next offering misses. Yeah, that's ball two. There's the swing and a miss. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Now batting Max Kepler. On the ground. Torres handles. Throws to first, yep. and that is that. Twins retired in short order. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium, today's starting pitcher, Kenta Maeda. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, this guy lives and dies with his slider, and it's a good one. Most guys, you know, they're working off of their fastball, but he's backwards a little bit, works off the slider, and then when the fastball comes, it can add a little velocity in terms of perception when guys are used to seeing that off-speed pitch. When it's right, really tough to hit. Even if you guess it's coming because it's breaking two planes, horizontal and vertical. Wang, back to work. Jorge Polanco stands in now and watches strike one. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. The wind of the pitch. Right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Now the third baseman, Jose Miranda. High fly ball. Pretty well struck out towards right center. Bader going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And now it's Joey Gallo. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Fastball for a strike. Strike one. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Righty to the plate. Got him swinging. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back in New York, and here's the first baseman, Alex Kirilov. Number 19. Kirilov, 25 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. Ball one, no strikes. Wang, 35 years old, and he's a native of Taiwan. Next pitch is inside, now 2-0. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here's Christian Vasquez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Vasquez, in his ninth season, in the eighth spot in today's lineup, he joined the team as a free agent. Please. Next offering is in for a strike. One One strike. Top of the third, no score. And a count one and two. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. And down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Nick Gordon, the next twin up to hit. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. There's a strike. No ball, one strike. That misses off the outside edge. Hey now, we got two. And another ball. The 2 1. Fought off foul. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Down go the Twins in order. And we're still knotted at zero. in the Bronx. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Byron Buxton. Hey, first first strike. Get ahead right here. The right-hander back to work. Pitch misses, oh. and it's 1-0. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Swings through that one out front that time. 
the one two that's out to center field Bader should have it I got it ball, ball. now there's one away the bat, the bat. Number four. and here four comes Carlos Correa, Correa. Carlos. went down on strikes his four first four. time through And takes low for ball one. On the ground, out to short. That takes care of Correa. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with now another ground that. ball. Good right execution. Right. Max Kepler at the Kepler. plate. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. In there, and it's 0-1. Yeah, no. And ball well, one. Well, Next hey, offering dude. is in for a strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he'll turn for second, and that's a two-out double. It's their first hit of the game. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. His first hit bat was a strikeout. in there for strike one and the strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on so yeah, good job yeah. of extending this inning getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up Kepler at second with two down misses it's a ball and two strikes pitch goes down looking so no runs here in a base hit no errors and one left to the bottom of inning number four now Yankees one and the twins nothing Back in the Bronx, and now Jose Miranda. Wang, back to work. Pitches in there, strike one. Now one and one. Is a 1 1. This one popped up. Counter Falefa makes the catch one down. Here's Joey Gallo. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. There's the strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he right. swings through it. The wind of the pitch. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Now oh, there's a the three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Here's Alex Kirilov. He's 0 for 1. Kirilov. And that's in there for strike one. Yeah. 
And that's a little bit high. The 1-1. One, one. And that one wrapped foul. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing here for the Twins. Still behind by a count of 1-0. Back now in the Bronx, Leading and now it's three. Christian Vasquez. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game, and you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan, and he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit. And a 1-1. And that one is lifted in the air. And no one can run it down. And the tying runs at second base with a double. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. It's the DH, Nick Gordon. Struck out swinging his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Hey, come on, guys. We got to hold him right here. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. At the belt and fires. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. 2-2 Two -two now. Three ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Byron Buxton would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. And here's a 3-2. Got it by him for the K. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And... So not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. And next for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. Vasquez leads off second with one gone in the inning. Pitch misses there. And one and one. And the righty deals. Check swing didn't go. And it's two and one. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. That's a really good take. Carlos Correa, the kind of bat that can make a big impact if they can keep it going here. One out and a runner at second. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity, so not a terrible result. One down. Here's Carlos Correa. Good contact guy, good defender. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. There's a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning-ending double play, boo.
Next offering is in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. A one two. Oh. Ouch, that one drilled him. Steps on the bag for one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, that's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. So digging in, Max Kepler. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. One ball. And it's fouled away. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch in this next one. The one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one-two. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Swings and misses, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Two left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. Yankees one and the Twins nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, we go to the top of the seventh. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Jorge Polanco. Right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. And misses inside. Breaking ball inside. Ball two. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Struck him out looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. 
And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Outside. Next offering is downstairs. Just off the outside edge. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Righty delivers. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Cabrera makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Next offering is in for a strike. A wind in the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. The tying run at the plate. Foul ball still a one and two count. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. The twins are set down one, two, three. They trail here, one nothing. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And now the first baseman, Alex Kirilov. Wang, back to work. That's in for a strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. No outs. Runner at first. So up next for Minnesota, Christian Vasquez. Corner infielders up on the grass expecting a bunt. Trying to move him over here. Rizzo. And they tag him out. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Wang, done for the day, and he was a tough nut to crack. Pretty stingy from start to finish. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Wandy Peralta on a pitch here. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Nick Gordon, the next twin. ball game up until the eighth inning and that's really the time where you expect things to lock down but the offense broke out incredible outburst 
and just put this game out of reach. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. For the For Twins, the twins no, runs, no runs, five, five hits, hits, no errors. errors. They left they nine left runners on base. base. Time of the ball game, three hours and, and nine, nine minutes. minutes. Our, Our paid attendance here at Yankee, Yankee Stadium, Stadium this afternoon, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely. safely.